in the early models that came out of the IPCC and that we're starting to look at temperature, um, there was a lot, there was a little bit of disagreement about what would happen in the Colorado River Basin. Now, as the models have advanced and been better calibrated, there's a lot of agreement that temperature is going to continue to increase, um, that we're going to continue to see, uh, you know, between seven to nine degree increase in temperature in our valley here. We're going to see a hundred degrees um, we're going to see a month more of 100 degree days by mid-century. Um, so at the highest level is that climate data. The next level down is taking those temperature increases and translating them to what happens to our water supply. And the Bureau of Reclamation has really been at the forefront of doing um, not only Colorado River reports, but kind of nationwide reports on what the impacts to our watersheds are going to be as we begin looking at how um, climate change gets down into the hydrologic basins. Since we're recycling so much of our indoor water, if we can manage our outdoor uses, we can continue to grow. Um, if we're adding businesses and homes that are not putting a big consumptive use in the valley, meaning those outdoor water uses, we have all the water we need to keep um, that closed loop and keep recycling water and sending it back to Lake Mead. When I talk to my constituents, there's generally a concern about water and about uh, climate change. I mean, we've seen, you know, 120 degree days here in Southern Nevada. And so it's, it, we live in one of the most warming the cities, or the most warming city in the country. And so clearly it's on people's mind. Uh, people understand, but more importantly, you know, people are seeing the impacts of the investments that we've been able to make, and uh, and I think that has an impact as well.